Hey, hey, let's go ahead and get started with a love reading for the collective. Spirit, what is the most important messages the collective needs to hear right now? We had one come out. It's separation, but it showed up in the reverse. So let's find out what that is. Yeah, you know what I'm getting? I'm getting some of you don't value yourself enough to walk away from a relationship. You're not willing to walk away from somebody because you don't value yourself, period. Plain and simple. We got separation in the reverse, finances and career in the reverse, and the release your ex in the reverse. So let's keep going. <clears throat> let's see if this person even values you. Either that or it's fucking Mercury retrograde and some of you guys went back to the past and brought back in an ex. Now let's see. What do we got? You deserve love. You are lovable. What else do we got? Center of the reading. Yeah, exactly what I said. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And that one showed up in the upright. So really what it boils down to is you don't respect yourself. You don't think that you deserve love. So you stay in a relationship that you know is going nowhere. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it can come to you now. You're going to have to make a very big decision on whether or not Whoever it is that you're bringing back into your life is even going to be worth it. Spirit, please show me. What else do we got? We've got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Oh, I, the sex is great, isn't it? It always is, especially makeup sex, right? Spirit, what do we got here for the collective? We got two more. It is safe for you to love. It says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, except for it shows up in the reverse. Again, another reversal. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. That's what it is. When we don't value ourselves, it shows that we have no self-respect. Because why not? Like, keep doing what you're doing. You know that you guys have a lot of differences between the two of you. Whether it's religious beliefs, one's religious, one's spiritual, or somebody doesn't believe in anything, the other one does, whatever that is. You guys aren't even on the same fucking page. Okay? This isn't just about religious factors. It says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Maybe for some of you it is. Maybe what it is is, you know, you stay in a marriage because that is what is expected of you because divorce is bad because the church said so. You know what they mean when they say, uh, till death do us part? Do you really know what that means? It's not till physical death. It's till death of the person I once was when I manifested this situationship. It's because when we manifest love, we manifest into accordance with the vibration of what we think love is. And what happens is, is we get into these relationships and then we stick around and we stick around and we stick around because we're, you know, we don't want to be embarrassed. We don't want to look like we failed at something, you know, so we stick in a relationship, even knowing that this person is no good for us. You know, it's like, but if you get a divorce, then you're afraid of what other people, like it, it, it's, it's just silliness to me. Again, till death do us part means till death of the person I once was when I manifested this relationship. That's all it means. Doesn't mean till the person actually physically dies. Like, so you're like in a prison with an individual who does not value you. Like spirit saying like, you need to decide on whether or not you can do this. And I feel like whoever it is that I'm tapped to or that I'm tapped into Spirit's trying to tell you, you deserve love. You are lovable. But it's almost like you just ignore red flags because of your own self-worth issues because you don't believe that you can get anything better. Oh, well, nobody's going to love me because I have had multiple kids and I've got stretch marks and I'm overweight. Or nobody's going to love me because dot, 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 you know? And a lot of that the time, it's because you're with a narcissist who makes you feel like you're, they're the only person for you. They're the only person that's going to tolerate you. So they beat you down and they beat you down and they beat you down. I know I was married to a narcissist and he told me nobody would ever love me. Well, that's not fucking true. I have lots of people who fucking love me and the people who don't, I don't give a shit. <laughs> you know, it's not based off of any of that. And I know that I'm lovable at the end of the day. You stay because of the sex. When I've got the passion here, you're, it's connected to the 
pay attention to the red flags. And it's also connected to the release your ex, which is in reverse and the separation, which is in reverse. The reason why you won't release it is because of the sex. So a lot of the time what ends up happening is we get together with somebody, we have sex, it's great sex. And then we don't want to let that go. Okay. We don't want to let that go. And so it's a lust thing. Again, it's not about you value. Here's the deal though. You will have to deal with the karma of that. When we give ourselves to somebody that we know we're not supposed to be with, that's usually when we end up with an STD. That's usually when we end up with, you know, some type of, you know, uh, cystic ovaries or, you know, um, uterine issues or whatever, because you're not, you're not valuing and you're not taking care of your chakras. You're not taking care of your energy. So what you're doing is you're having this casual sex and, and all this passion, right? But at the end of the day, all it turns into is a few minutes of pleasure and a lifetime of bullshit. You know, we used to make fun of our science teacher. She was like a 70 year old virgin and we used to always talk shit. Oh my God. You know, she's a 70 year old virgin. I gotta be honest with you. Her skin was clear. She didn't look 70. She wasn't all stressed out. She had white hair, but it wasn't gray through stress and whatever else. Right. It was like her natural progression. And the fact that she stayed single, like a nun all those years, she looked a lot better than people that I've seen who look pretty fucking haggard from sleeping with the wrong fucking person. So, you know, I do like, I look back and I'm like, man, I wish we would not have given her so much shit because now I understand why she did it. You know, whenever you get sex, that's why I always tell people like, you know, when they get into a relationship and the first thing they do is they jump into bed. The reason why they jump into bed with that person is because they're afraid that person might not leave or that might leave them. So what do they do? They give their body to them in hopes that that's payment enough for that person to stay. Like that's a red flag. That's on you. You know, that's on a healing that you need to work through. That's not for this other person. This other person's only going to reflect back the healing that you need to do. So that person will stay, stick around and they'll use you for sex, but they're also going to treat you like shit. You know? So the outgoing card is love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And if you don't love yourself, then you're going to continue to give, give up your energy and very freely at that, because that's what I'm seeing here. You see the red flag. This red flags is the center of the fucking reading. It's the heart of the reading. Well, I see the red flags. Shy, red flags are not just shiny little things put there for you to look at and enjoy it. And anybody who's been watching me for quite some time now will know that I've been saying that for years. This is insane. Like, this is sad. This is one of those not so perfect love stories. Spirit, please show me the collective. What is the red flags? What are the red flags that the collective is ignoring? <laughs> Twin flame union. Oh yeah, heart, body, mind, and soul. That's the red flag? You think that this person's your twin flame? Really? Is that where you're going with this? You want to know what twin flames is? It's clickbait. It's all these fucking readers here on YouTube and all these other psychics who literally do that for business. That's what it is. It's fucking clickbait. It's literally a toxic excuse for you to continue to play this runner chaser dynamic. That's what this is. And again, it goes right back to the passion that we've been talking about, right? Oh, well, he's my twin flame. Oh yeah, look, look, look. You got two other cards that flipped up. Twin flame recognition. And then you got friend zoned. See, there's that runner chaser we were talking about. Listen, when you come into a twin flame dynamic, because I'm not saying that they aren't real, but what I am saying is half the shit that the collective thinks is real twin flame is actually a karmic situation. You know what twin flames really do? Twin flames make you want to actually change something about yourself. They make you want to do better. They want, they motivate you to go and get a better job. They motivate you to start taking care of your fucking health. They motivate you to do all these things, but nine times out of 10, you don't end up with your twin flame. 
They're just here to trigger something. And some of that time, that twin flame can be your, your sister's uh, son. That's your twin flame, that soul connection that you have to, that you feel that you have to protect that individual. And there's something that just, you, you don't know what it is within you, but you feel like you owe your life to this person and they're the other half of your soul. It, it could literally be your best friend's baby. It could be your mom. It does not necessarily mean that it's going to be your romantic relationship. So the red flag is quit fucking with this whole twin flame bullshit. Start working on yourself. You know, when the runner stops or, or when the chaser stops chasing, the runner stops running. You keep chasing after them. And when you finally turn around and go, what the fuck am I doing? What am I doing? And you just start going your own path. That's when the runner goes, oh, wait, well, hold on. Um, hey, <laughs> remember me? Like you were just chasing me for like the last six years. What do you mean you're not chasing me anymore? Then they come back in and they tempt you again just to see if you're still stupid so that they can turn around and fucking run again the moment you start chasing again. That's what I'm seeing here. And, and Spirit's like, have some respect for yourself. You don't feel safe in this relationship, whoever this is. This is not a safe relationship. Yeah, this is all about physical touch and pleasure. That's all it is. Oh, he's my twin flame. No, he's a fucking karmic. Yeah, disguise. Some elements of this relationship are hidden. Somebody here wears a disguise. It's disguised as a twin flame because that's what all these fucking readers keep telling you. And you guys are literally going down the rabbit hole with fucking readings. How about listen to your intuition? When your intuition is telling you, man, there's something fucking wrong with this situation. Maybe you should listen to it. It's like people who say, oh, but they give me butterflies. No, motherfuckers, those are red flags. Those are warning signals saying, uh, run. Don't do it. Warning. <laughs> you know, those are butterflies. Those are your intuition from a past life telling you, I remember this situation. I've done this before. Benefit of the doubt. Give your relationship a chance. That's what you keep doing. And now that it's Mercury retrograde, I think a lot of you guys will. And I think for some of you, you very well could have been married to this person or are married to this person, but you know, deep down inside, it's not the best thing. Divine timing. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is all about divine timing. In due time, everything will end up working itself out. Yeah, so this is about you wanting to rekindle or they want to rekindle with you because we've got rekindle here. And I'm telling you, like, I really feel like this is a Mercury retrograde. Uh, but I feel like you need to use some common sense. I feel like common sense kind of goes out the window when, when you're so enthralled in sex. That's why when you give yourself up, like they don't even care to get to know you after you've been intimate with them because there's nothing more to know about you except for the fact that you will do anything now to stay in this relationship. They know that. You think they're fucking stupid? Absolutely not. They know when you're not having respect for yourself. And maybe it's time for, for some of you to go back to your belief system, the one that you had before you ended up meeting this person. You know, like I said, you need to look at your belief systems and you really need to start questioning what it is that you believe. You know, for some of you, all you like, all you want is quality time from, for the, from this person. And this person never really gave you that spirit. Please show me what messages, what do we got here? Friendly support, fairies, guides, and friends give you aid. Listen to your fucking friends. Listen to your friends on this one. I think that your friends are actually the ones who are telling you like this situation is not good. You need to listen to your intuition. You need to like have more respect for yourself. This person doesn't, they don't love you the way you deserve. Yeah. See, we got rekindle here twice. Rekindle here twice now. Look at that. Yeah. <clears throat> 
make sure that this person honors this relationship because I don't think that they have in the past, okay? What do we got here? Yeah, honor the bond. If they're coming back in, which if it's a Mercury retrograde, not the best time. And we're between two eclipses. You're supposed to be closing doors, not reopening them and rehashing shit that you've already worked yourself through. Honor yourself enough that you're willing to put yourself out there, even if that means being single for a while, taking care of your own fucking shit before you come rushing into a bond with someone else and where you end up repeating the same fucking cycle. We're closing out cycles. We're in the most pivotal time of our fucking lives right now. And the stupidest fucking thing you could do right now is go back to an ex. Go back to the same fucking reason of all the things that you had to literally wipe out and be healing from in the first place. I really suggest you guys take this time out during these eclipses and during this Mercury retrograde and ask yourself, what seeds are you planting when it comes to relationships? Because we have that South Node eclipse in Libra, which is all about relationships. And then we have that North Node in Aries, which is where we're to go. And we're supposed to say, I'm going to be fucking selfish. If you're not bringing anything to the fucking table, you don't motivate me. You have no fucking desire to do anything in life except for to sit in your own fucking pile of shit, blaming everybody else for your unfortunate circumstances and being pissed off at everything. I got better things to do because there's a whole world waiting for you to show up and it's going to be highly disappointed if you don't. And if you don't walk through those doors, you're never going to end up meeting the person that you're supposed to be with all along. And it's when you finally get your head out of your fucking ass and you actually are willing to fucking see things for what they are and not for some illusion of what you think they are. I'm going to leave that here. You guys, I love you all so much. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, all my information's in the description box down below. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It does help my channel grow. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram under the Footsteps to Peace and Peace Unhinged Tarot. I love you guys all so much, and we will chat again soon. Take care.